Okay, boys and girls, everybody, go ahead and let's call. You're going to stand up. Let's get up. You're going to remain seated. Sit up tall. First thing we're going to do today is balance day. So first thing we're going to do is get ourselves warmed up real nice. Let's start with our breath. Find your posture. Very important part of balance is your posture. So uh, I was watching a, a physical therapist do a thing on low back pain and balance. And uh, her suggestion was, pretend that you had a $100 bill right between the cheeks of your bottom and squeeze it in so you don't drop the $100 bill. <laughs> Hang on to it. Hang on to it. That's right. When you actually, when you do that, you can feel the difference in your lower back. It puts a nice little round, there's a nice little round curve in the lower back, which is where we have most of our back issues. A lot of the, a lot of the back issues have to do with us slumping and bending forward like this. Uh, if, if you have to use a cane or a walker, I mean, I saw a guy yesterday at the grocery store. He was a young guy. He was like literally laying across the basket as he's pushing around. You know, maybe he wonders why his back hurts. Okay, so standing tall, let's take our shoulders up, back and down and relax. Big breath in, exhale. Okay, nose, breath in by the nose, out by the mouth. Good. All right, now next breath, arms up with the inhale. And exhale. Good. Do it again. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Again, please. Very good. Bigger breath. Get a long breath out. Now inhale really big this time through the nose. When you think you've got all you can, try to take one more swallow. And exhale, 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 exhale. When you think you blow it all out, give one more little puff, just like you're blowing out a candle. Good, do it again. Good. Okay, standing very tall. We're gonna start warming up the body a little bit. So move the shoulders forward. And roll them back. Good. Let's do it one more time forward. And back. Take the arms out wide with the palms up, thumbs behind you. Really stretch out, open the chest. Feel the elbows open, feel the wrist open. Really wide, feel the shoulders open. Good. I'll cross them over in front of you. Alternate the arm or arm. That's it. Just warm it up now. Continue your breath on purpose. In by the nose, out by the mouth. Good. A little more, a little more, a little more. That's great. Alternate the arm on top, folks. Very nice. Good. Okay, I'll bring it two more times. One, two, very nice, okay? So give me the goal post. All right, elbows up high. Elbows at shoulder height. And down in front, back up again. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Sorry about that. Do it again. Up, down. Up, down. Good job. All right. Go post. Touch your shoulder. Take it all the way out. Bend just the elbow. Finger to the shoulder. Do it. All the way out. Do it again. Nice. 
Warming all the joints up. Good. Two more times. One. Two. Okay. Now arms out straight. Let your pointer finger go out. Point at the walls. Now make your little circles as if you're going about the size of a golf ball. Like you're drawing a little circle on the wall. Good. Now go the other way. That's nice. Okay, reverse again. Now make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to a softball size. So we're moving your shoulders, not your wrists. Good. Now go a little bit bigger, maybe to a volleyball size. Nice. And reverse that. Good. Really good. Anybody drop that hundred dollar bill yet? Hold on to that hundred dollar bill. That's it. Okay, now come forward again. Let's go about basketball size. Good. <clears throat> and reverse that. Good job. Okay, goal post. Roll the shoulders forward. And shake them out a little bit. We'll do a little push pose to start warming up our hips. Okay? So we're going to push. You're going to stretch your arms out straight towards me. Show me your palms like you're pushing me away. Take a step towards me. Push. Turn the hands. Let me see your knuckles. Pull back. Push. Pull. Alternate the foot you're stepping forward with. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. Pull. Very nice. Push. Pull. Very good. Keep it going. Push. Pull. Ten. Nine. Right. Eight. Seven. Six. six five. Four. four three. Two, one. Good job. Check it out. All right, we'll continue to push pull. We'll add a couple of things to it, okay? We're going to add push, pull, up, and then go down. Bend the knees when you go down, like a little baby squat. Down. Push, pull, up, palms to the ceiling, palms to the floor. Bend the knees. Back up for a push. Pull, up, down. Good. Push, pull, up, down. Push, pull, up, down. Good job. Two more. Push, pull, up, down. Push, pull, up, down. Very good. Okay, we're going to add one more thing to it. Okay, we're going to add a side movement. So we push, pull, up, down, and then out. Leg goes, arms go out. One leg goes out, out, in. Ready? Okay. Push, pull, up, down, out, in. Push, pull, up, down, out, in. Good. Push. Pull, up, down, out, in. One more time. Push, pull, up, down, out, in. Good job. Roll the shoulders. Take a big breath. Breath in. Breath out. Very nice. Okay, first thing we're going to do, once again, this is balance which means we're going to be challenging yourself a little bit. Make sure you stay safe. Have an extra chair or something there that you put your hand on if you feel like you're losing your balance. You have to challenge yourself a little bit to practice your balance, but you want to remain perfectly safe the whole time. If you have uh, two chairs, that's good too. Sometimes I stay in between the two chairs in the back there. So that you have plenty of balance, you have plenty of protection. So you can try a little bit, okay? So first thing we want to do is do our heel lifts, okay? So stand nice and tall, check your posture, check that $100 bill again, lift your chest, chin up, 
Long distance between your shoulder and your ears. Get the long neck. Good. Now keep looking across the room. Don't look down. Look across the room, straight across. And lift your hip. Come up on your toes. Lift your heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay. It's real important. This is a great exercise to strengthen the ankles and the toes, all the joints and muscles in the toes and the feet. There's like 75 different muscles in the feet. Okay, ready, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, now if you're holding on to something, See if you can, if you hold with your hand, see if you can just go to a couple fingers. Once again, be safe, but challenge yourself a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Good job. Okay. Now keep your feet just about hip width apart. Feet are flat. Now we're going to lift the toes. Be very careful you don't push yourself backward when you do this. It's good to start with a little bit of balance, a little bit of support, like a chair or something. Okay, ready? Lift the toes all the way on the heels. Good. You feel the difference in the leg already. One, two, up, down to three, up, down, four, up, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Let's do it again. Now shake the leg up and let's do it again. Big breath in, come up on the breath in, out on the breath down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good job. Big, big breath in. Big breath now. Let's do 10 more toe races, okay? Back on your heels, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Shake it out. Take a breath. Okay, now we're going to. Put our feet in a tandem. Let me back up a little bit. You can see my feet. We're going to put our feet in a tandem position. So standing up straight, feet flat. Take one foot forward. The other foot is behind. Like you were taking a first step. Okay, like you just take a step. Now try to put the two feet in line. Don't have to touch the heel of the toe, but just stand in line. Good. Now for some people, this is already a little shaky. If it is for you, you know, once again, have a chair or something beside you. So you can just, it's important to do it even if you're shaking, okay? You gotta start somewhere. All right, nice and tall, be safe. Okay, just stand up tall, lift your chest, beautiful posture, look across the room, good. Now looking straight ahead, see what your, you can put your arms out for balance if that helps you, forward, Cross them, whatever works for you. Stand up nice and tall. Okay, we're going to add a little challenge. Ready? Look to your right. Good. Come back forward. Look to the other side. Come back forward. Now, if that's very difficult for you, remember that and this is what you practice on your time off. Ready? Stand up straight. Shoulders back. Chin up. Look to your right. Look to your left. I got a little bump there myself. <laughs> Right, left, right, left. Very good. I look straight ahead. Check the posture. Stand tall. Up, down. Up, down. Looking up. Look up at the ceiling. Look down at your feet. Up at the ceiling. 
down as your foot. Up, down. Very good. Now remember, have a real soft knees here, okay? Don't stand too, too erect at the knees. Don't lock your knees. Give your knees a little balance. It'll give you a little more movement, a little more balance, okay? Okay, now we're going to, now we're all going to put one foot forward, put the other toe right on the heel so that you're perfectly in line with tandem feet. Okay, and stand tall. We'll just repeat what we just did. This will be just a little bit more difficult. Ready? Look to your right. Look to your left. Look straight ahead. Repeat that. Right. <coughs> straight ahead. Now you want to look across the room now. Don't be looking down now, okay? Straight up. Shut up. Up and look at the ceiling. Look at the floor. Look at the ceiling. Look at the floor. Good. Do it again. Nice. Okay, well, I have one more little challenge. You're in your tandem stance. One foot right in front of the other, and let's swing the arms. Put a little motion in there, like you're kind of like you're walking, except your feet aren't moving. Good. That's it. Let the shoulders turn too. Very nice. Hold on to that hundred dollar bill. Keep Got it. Keep the posture up. Shut up. That's it. Okay. Three, two, one. Good. I'll stand and talk. We had a little different challenge. We're going to take arms out and back. Out and back. Out fast. Back slow. Out, back. Out, back. Good. Out, back. Now we're going to go up, down. Way up. Two more times. One, two. Good. Okay. Come back to your feet apart. Now hip width apart. <clears throat> and then uh, we're going to do a single leg stance, which means we're going to, with your support of a chair or something else, we're going to stand on one leg. So the inside leg, let's try this one first. Is this the other leg? You just lift it behind you like this. Okay? You can go on the toe first and then lift the leg. If you need to hold something, that's fine. Or if you can do it without that, that's okay too. And just hold it and down. Up, one, two, three, down. Up, one, two, three, down. Up. One, two, three, down, slow. Come down slow. Up slow, down slow. Up, one, two, three, down. Let's go one, two, three, four, down. One, two, three, four, down. Do it again. One, two, three, four, down. Down. Ready? Up, one, two, three, four, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, down. Up, one, two, three, four, five, down. Don't count slasher, just keep slow. One, two, three, four, five, down. Let's go to the other leg, okay, ready? Lift it up and down. Just start off the same way, don't go right to five. Take it slow. You'll find one leg is a little easier than the other, or one leg is a little harder than the other. Here we go, lean it up, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, really just tall. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now stand tall and come up on your toes again. Lift your heels and down. Get a little stretch from the work you just did. Do it again. One more time. Now relax. Take a big breath in. We can both out. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to uh, do a tightrope walk. So the way we had our tandem before, we put the heel with one foot and fall in front of the toe with the other one. 
like you're on a tightrope. You're going to take three steps. Give yourself enough room to just take three steps. That's all. Okay. One heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Three. Good job. Now go backwards. Toe to the heel, toe to the heel, toe to the heel. Good job. One more time. Heel to the toe, heel to the toe, heel to the toe, toe to the heel, toe to the heel, toe to your heel. Good job. Stand up tall. Lean with the other foot now, okay? Ready? Heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. Good job. Now, toe to your heel, toe to your heel, toe to your heel. Good. Stand up tall. Take a nice big deep breath. Good job. All right, so let's just get a little march on, we'll get the hips a little more involved, okay? Lift the leg, knee up, lift it up to about, try to get up to about hip width, hip corners width, yeah, height. Hip corners right here, we'll get the knee up right there, okay? Just a march. We're not going to go fast, I want to go high. The uh, reason we're going high, I'll tell you in just a moment. We'll try to get as high as you can get. And make sure you're using the arms. Okay? Lift, 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 lift. Good. Keep marching. Keep march. Looking really good. Okay? Now, the reason we're doing this, look how long that foot is off the floor. A minute ago, when we were holding up like one, two, three, it was like, oh gosh. So, so when you're marching, this a movement of walking that you're familiar with, your brain tells you you're okay. Sometimes our balance has not a lot to do with our attitude. Our confidence level. Okay? Good job. Now, find your chair. Move in front of your chair. We're going to do a little... I'm going out here for us. Have room for the saw all laying around your chair, okay? What we're going to do is have a seat and sit down, take a breath, now stand up and walk around the chair. Walk all the way around the back, come back to the front, and have another seat. Good. Now, for some people, this is going to be very easy for you. Some people are going to find it a little difficult after the third or fourth time. Once again, your job is to notice what you notice, feel what you feel, and make sure you have plenty of things to do for homework. Very good. And have a seat. Good. And once again, when you sit, make sure you know where the chair is. Sometimes people sit down, flop down, the chair moves. By the time you come around the next time, you're three or four inches off. That'll be enough to hit the floor. Up we go. Down we go. Looking we'll exceptionally good. Very nice. Okay. Now, here we go. Have a seat. Now, stay there for a moment and breathe. We're going to do a few sit stands while we're here. I know this is stretch work, but it has a lot to do with your balance getting up. So we want to try not to use our hands on the chair when we stand up or our legs. Try to put your hands in a neutral position, maybe cross your, cross your arms. Okay, and now, now to come up, if you come straight up, we we'll can do that. If you need a little, little push, put the, your heels a little bit under the chair, put your nose out over your toes. And push yourself forward and up. If you have a real hard time getting up out of a chair, give yourself a cushion or something, a book or something, or a yoga block or something. Sit on that, make it a little higher. It's easier to get up, practice there, then go down lower. The progression is very high, maybe like a bar stool height, all the way to a low chair. Okay, so sit, breath, stand, stand tall, good posture, breath, big breath, and sit slowly again. Very nice. 
And again, we go. Beautiful. Let's do it again. Let's do 10 of these, all right? That's 10. Here's nine. Here's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. I'll take the stand up tall, take a deep, deep breath, and shake it out. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do a few side lunges. This is kind of what we did with the, when I say be a star, you know, we take one leg out from the side, or we bend and we bend the other leg. This one stays straight, this one bends like that. One side to the other. One, two, three. We get that off. Four, five, six, seven. Turn the hips with the move. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. Take a big breath. Do ten more. Ready? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Stand tall, feet together. Big breath in, big breath out. Ten more. Feet wide apart. Good, here we go, a little more in the hip width apart. Toes are straight ahead, left and right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good job. Stand tall. Breath in. Breath out. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do that rock the boat or a little shift and lift. So instead of a lunge, we're going to stand tall. Feet are just sort of comfortable distance apart, just about hip width. You're going to turn all your weight onto this leg and just lift the other one, the heel off the floor. Okay, kind of like a little Charlie Chaplin walk, you know? One, two, all your weight here. Not moving, you're not kicking your leg out, you're shifting your weight. We'll do this a little quicker in a minute. This is like when you're walking along and somebody bumps into you, your weight goes here, and you automatically bring it right back. So you're practicing bumping into somebody is what you're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Big breath in, big breath out. Let's do it again. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Big breath. Now, last ten. Let's try to keep the middle of the body straight and even and just tilt the weight. Okay, one, two, Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Breath. Very nice. Okay. Now I'm going to do step back, step forward as if we were starting to fall. Somebody push you from behind. You take a quick step forward and stop yourself and come right back to the rack. So feet one foot forward, almost like the push shove, right? One foot forward, now stand back up. One. It's fast, folks. Roll it two. Three. Four. A little bit of impact. Five. That's good to build strong bones, too. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. All right, now the other foot. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. We want to make sure that if we go to fall forward, we can stop ourselves from the big muscle with our legs without sticking our hands out and maybe breaking the wrist or the elbow. Okay, here we go. Start with the first leg again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Stand up tall, big breath in, big breath out. You're looking good. Now we're going to do the same thing, but backwards, okay? So step back, catch yourself, and push yourself back up straight. One, two. Now take a good side step. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good job on the foot. Stand tall, big breath. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good job. Remember, when we're walking outside or even around the house or any place, the office building, the doctor's office, you want to look ahead at the floor. You don't want to look down in front of you because those things ahead of you, you'll never see until it's too late. So always kind of scan in front of you. Try not to tilt your chin down too far. Look out this way. See it coming and then keep your head up. All right, let's do the backwards 10 more times, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Big breath, big breath in, big breath out. Okay, now remember, we talked about this before, that a big part of balance is testing yourself, challenging yourself, building your confidence, which is what we just did. Another part of the balance is the leg strength and the body strength, okay? So we're going to work on the leg strength a little bit. We did some with the ankles, our heel lifts and toe lifts. Now we're going to do some more squats and sit stands. So move in front of your chair for safety reasons. In case you slip, you have some place to go. And uh, we we'll move this chair a little more out of the way. Good. Okay, standing tall in front of the chair. We're going to do a half squat. Okay, 
cross your arms, battle your palm into your elbow, behind the elbow. Here we go, halfway down to the chair, halfway down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Gave you two extra because you're doing so good. Okay, big breath in. Big breath out, inhale down. Oh, excuse me, exhale down, inhale up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Stand up tall. Big breath in. Take your recovery. I'll give me a couple more breaths. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, here we go. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Good job, you guys. Stand up tall, take a big, big, meaner breath. Good job. All right, big breath out, in, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, roll the shoulders forward, and roll them back. Okay, now we're gonna do Tens to stands, okay? And remember, we want to sit all the way into the chair and relax. <laughs> your weight sink into the chair and then stand up. So each one is one, okay? So that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So stand up straight, check that out, that'll build. Okay, we'll do ten more. The legs should be filling the person. Ready? One. Two, take it slow. Three, four, nice and slow. You don't want the fun to be over too soon. Five, six, seven, eight. Are you breathing on purpose? Nine, last one, come up strong. Good job. Take it out, take a couple breaths. Good. Okay, the next thing we talked about, we wanna have a, a good attitude or good confidence in our balance. We also wanna have the strength we just work on. And the most important, one of the most important part is the core. So we're gonna do a little bit of core work and then some, uh, Flexibility, okay? Have a nice seat. Now sit all the way back in your chair until your back side is going up a little hole in the bottom of the chair. That's it. Now, put your hand, your palm over your hand a little wide. Put your hand right over top of your belly button. Now contract your core. Suck it in towards your spine. You'll feel a gap where your hand was stuck in your belly. Now it's not. Your belly is running away from your hand. Suck it in, suck it in, hold it. Three, two, one, release. 
Good. Sit up tall, chest up, chin up, shoulders back and down. Ready? Tuck it in. Hold it in, hold it in, hold it in. Four, three, two, one. Let it out. Good job. Oh, look at this. I got a helper. All right, here we go. Sitting up tall. Ready? Suck it in. Weigh in, weigh in. Three, two, one. Release. Good. Now push your back, the small of your back, into the chair. Push it in tight, tight, real hard. Push it in, push it in. And you're trying to get out from the back. Push it in. Don't let button to the spine. Push it, push it, push it. And relax. Good. Okay. Now here we go. Sitting up tall. Your knees right over your ankles. Cross your arms. Give it that dream of genie arms. We're going to do our sitting sit ups. Work on the front part of the abs. Okay. So sitting tall. Bring your elbows forward. Keep the back flat. Keep the back straight. Go around the back. Go get your elbows beyond your knees with a straight back. Then come down in front of your knees. Elbows touch the front of your knees. Come right back straight up. And then sit back. Good. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Take it nice and easy. Don't, don't bounce. One, two, three, four. That actually is four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, Three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten. Good job. Big breath. Big breath. Big, big breath. Okay, stand and give me a big breath. Good job. Okay, I want to move something out of the way here. Screen is fixed there. There we go. Okay, go back and have a seat again. We're going to do 10 more. Here we go. Cross them over. Ready? Remember now, up tall, start with a good posture. Or blades, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Forward. Two down. Three up. Pull it back. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. Good job. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good job. You got ten more to go. Okay. Nice breath in, nice breath out. Good job. Okay, cross the arms, elbows high, check your posture, belly button in, hold the belly button in as you go forward. Make it tight, tight, tight. Way forward, get those elbows way past the knees. Come down in front of them. Three, three, one, one, two, Three, two, one, 
two, three, three. On number one, feel the shoulders. Feel the shoulders coming out of the sockets. Come down in front of the knees. Lift the weight high up and come back. One, two, three, high up, high up, back. Forward, high, down. Way up, back. Five, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten. Good job. So get out. Remember, as always, do the number that fits you. If the eight fits you better than ten, do eight. Take a big breath. And remember, we don't care about quantity. We only care about quality. Do each exercise as if you only do one. Do one correctly. Okay, now we're going to take the alternate elbow to the alternate knee. All right, so up top. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Good job. Take a breath and we're going to do the last ten now. Ready? One. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. Take it out. Hold your shoulders. Looking good. Okay, now sit up tall. Come forward in the chair. Bring yourself forward all right to the edge. Okay? Feet flat. Sit up tall. Okay, now take the legs out straight. And land on your heels. Keep the legs straight, straighten those knees, legs from the hips to the foot, perfectly straight. Point your toes, heels in the floor, point the toes. Great. Now cross your arms, lift one leg, and lift the other. That's it. Lift them high as you can and hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one. Good. Now this time, when you do it, tighten your tummy. Okay? Ready? Legs up straight. Lift one. Lift the other. Go. Is it tight? Give me a pat on the tummy. Come on. Lift it higher. Higher. Tap the tummy. Feel it. Feel how it's working for you. Lift, 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 lift. Relax. Good job. Okay, we only got three more of those. Legs out straight. Lift one leg, lift the other. Now lift them both higher. Lift them up, lift them up, lift them up. Lift, lift, lift. Till that in your thighs. Come on. Right there in the quads. That's it. Higher, 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 and relax. Good job. Okay, we only got two more minutes. Let's get the rest of these in. Get good, huh? Legs up straight. Lift the one. Now lift the other. Get them up the floor. Get them up the floor. I don't care if it's one inch or ten inches. Just get them up. Get them up. Come on. You can do it. You got it. You got to hold it in there. Now, ten, nine, eight, seven, seven six, five, four, three, two, 
Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You did a real great job today. 